In this video, we'll see how to change the color of your font into your Excel. We'll be writing this in the form of a macro in the VBA editor. So let's see that. What I've done is I've written some text into this place, the same text tutorials point, okay, in the sheet named as H underscore font underscore color, Excel VBA file itself. Now, if I want to change the font color, I usually do it with the help of this font group, okay, I can change the font color from here. But with the help of macros, how do I do that? Let us see that. I'll open the VBA editor part. So this is my VBA editor part. I've created here a sheet, uh, here a module that is H underscore font underscore colors in the module folder itself. Now I have created inside that module sub procedure that is font underscore color. So if you want, you can change the name here. If you want, you can change the name here. Just for your understanding, I've given some meaningful name. Okay. So let us see that if you want to change the color of your font, okay, that is this area. How do you change it? First thing is you have to write the area name. That is the cell name, which you want to change. So I'll type here as range A1 to A10. Though there are many cells, it is from A1 to A17. I don't want to change entirely. I want A1 to A10 and then I can write as font because in that range, I have some font and I want to change the color. Okay, so that is all. Rest is I have to type the name of the color. So equal to VB. VB stands for visual basic and you just type here as green. Okay, same way you can keep on writing instead of this green, you can keep on writing different names, which is it can be a green. Basically, there are only eight colors, eight standard colors. I'll try to say that black, white, red, green, yellow, blue, cyan and magneta. So basically there are eight colors. Okay. Into this, these are standard colors. There are more than eight colors, but for that you don't have this names. So names are given for eight standard colors. So let us see that. So it's only thing which you have to write range a1 to a10 dot font dot color equal to vb green. Similarly, I've written eight more sentences here is statements. I'll show you those statements. I've written at the bottom. I'm bringing it up now if you see. So similarly, I have just copy paste here like this one. Okay. And instead of green, I've written this eight colors. Okay. Black, white, green, yellow, blue, red. Then you have cyan and magneta. These are the new two colors which I added here. There's one more method which you can use to add the colors. If you want to change the font color, there's one more method. Instead of this color, you just type here as color index. So how do you write it? I just try to show you here range that is A1 to A10 dot font dot color index equal to one. Okay. So like this, what I've written is dot color index. Instead of this color, I've written the color index index. It starts with the number. You can start from one number to 56, five, six, number 56. If you try to write 57, it will not be valid. Okay. So it only works in this two areas. If you want to change the font color, either type font dot color or font dot color index. Similarly, for this area, I've written some text at the back end in the lower place. I'll just bring it up. If you see, yeah, I've brought it up. So this is what I've written font dot color index 1, 10 and 50 till 56. It will work apart from 56 that you show it will throw an error message. So what I'll do is I'll bring this up. I'll delete this space, which I've given here. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I've done. Right. So for your reference, what I've written is there are only eight standard colors for this one. There are color index till 56. If you write 57, it will throw an error message. Let us execute and see what happens now. If you want to execute step by step, you have to use the shortcut key as F8 from a keyboard. That is nothing but step into. Yeah, let us see now. If I click on this step into, you see the first line now it, it will go to the next place. Now it says VB green. Observe here the color when it goes to the next line. That means yellow color means it is executing that line now. F8. Now, yeah, A1 to A10 is only green. Why only A1 to A10? Because I've selected A1 to A10. Now keep on observing if I press F8 from my keyboard. Now it is white color. White color will match with the background white color. So it will be shown nothing. F8. Now it is black color. Again, F8. I've written as yellow, red, green, blue, cyan, magneta and so on. So it is changing the colors. Again, if you see, I've written the color index as one. So this is the color index for one, which is black. So it will keep on changing. If the color index changes, the number that is given as 10, again, it is given as 10 and 50. So it went back. I have to go back to this place. Yeah. And finally, if I press F8, this is for 50. So 50 stands for somewhere light green color. Again, I'll press F8. So it came back, right? So I hope you have understood how to change the colors of the font. There are two methods, basically for font.color and font.color index. That's it. That's all for this video.